Okay. You know, you know what it was like? Gordon didn't start out a bad man. Gordon became a bad man. And that, I think that's the problem. He, when he started out, when he was searching, when he was looking, he was looking here and there, he was trying to get knowledge. You think he met Matose, and Matose taught him. But somewhere in that transition, he, he moved away from being a searcher, and an explorer, and an investigator, and a creator of things, and became the opposite. Into spell, into holding people through uh, the forms, you know, doing bad things in that way. Before he wasn't that way, but he became that way, which was, which was a shame. So, um, off the wrist grab from in here, or, or how, how is it? If I, uh, if I have you, I, I take you this way, I come up high and I come over, right? And then I'm looking to take you this way. If I keep my arm away from my body, then what he could do is with that free hand, slap his hand down, and then come out and go to strike. So, when we're doing this technique from in here, it's best to always try to keep it to your chest or with the foot switched. So then you're using your body behind it as opposed to doing this. This is, this is kind of dangerous. You'll see a lot of martial arts set a kick and then they'll, they'll come over this way or they'll come over this way. You can do that, that's fine. But always, if you're coming this way, watch out for that free hand because he can slap it or he can punch me right in the face or palm me or, or strike to the chin or, or kick with that to the crotch and then or do a simultaneous at the same time. So it's, it's a little dangerous to, uh, to keep that arm out. Sure, sure the way, because I, what I see when they, a lot of people do this, they try to do it really low, right? You know, they try to do it really well, if, low. If, if, you, if, if, you, uh -huh. if you come low, uh -huh. you see, it's, I can't bring the wave over. So when you're doing the technique, it's best to try to bring it a little bit higher and then come down with the finger pointed. See, and then grab the wrist from in here Bring the thumb over the top, so you double thumb it. Bring your chest in, and then take the guy over. Now, there's many different variations to that, to this particular move. You also got the pink hook, right? You also can come into the inside, and then take him over with the other hand, and slam him down. There's many different variations to that technique, but it has to be done fast, because a good jiu-jitsu man is gonna really crank it fast. You, you only have a, a quarter of a second to get out of that. If you don't get out of it, you're gonna lose your wrist. <laughs> Simple as that. So the best thing is when you see a guy coming up to grab you, yeah, you know, hit him. Or if he's coming up to grab you, get hit. Come to the outside. If I come this way, well, I'm setting myself up for that hand there. See? But if I work to the outside when he's coming to grab me, I get a better shot if he grab his here and then throw him over.